Today we're going to mount a set of rings into this base on this Remington 600 and it's going to be a set of standard rings. That's the rotary dovetail front and the windage adjustable rear and we're going to do it using this tool here. This is a new tool that I've designed and built called the Scope True Alignment Bar and this tool is designed to mount the rings into the bases, both dual dovetail rings and the standard style rings that we're going to be doing today. The first step in installing a set of standard rings into a base, that's a rotary dovetail front and a windage rear, is we want to take that rotary dovetail front ring and insert it onto the bar about one and a half inches and then we'll tighten that down to 15 inch pounds. I've now tightened the front ring onto this end of the bar to about 15 inch pounds. We're going to insert that ring into the front dovetail and we're going to begin the process of turning this around all the way to the center and you can use the stock with your thumb on the bar like this to get control and we're going to bring that right till it looks to be centered on the barrel and that looks pretty good right there. Alright I've turned that ring in and as I indicated the pointer is now on the center of the barrel and you can see a top view of how that looks from here so we're ready to put in the rear ring now. The next step in this procedure of doing standard mounts is we're going to loosen these screws on the front ring just slightly and enough to slide the scope true alignment bar back just beyond the tang and we'll just take up some of the slack. Don't snug them yet. I'm now ready to install the rear ring. The way I usually do this is I put the ring together but I leave about a sixteenth of an inch between the flanges so you can slide it onto the bar easily. You slide it on and up over the base and get it right between the two windage screws. You can also put just the bottom half of the ring under there and get it in position and then start the top half on with the screws. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten these down to about 15 inch pounds. I've now tightened the ring screws on the top here of this rear ring to about 15 inch pounds and now what we want to do is we want to tighten the rear screws on the base, the windage adjustable screws, and move the bar this way or that way until the pointer is right on the center of the barrel. So I'm going to do that process now. Moving that one just slightly. Take a look. Move this one slightly. And it looks like it's fairly centered. So what I want to do now is I want to tighten both of these base windage screws to 45 inch pounds. I've now adjusted and tightened the rear windage screws on the base to 45 inch pounds and the pointer is right on the center of the barrel and so we're going to take a look at that from the top view to show you what that looks like. Here's a quick view from the top showing the scope true alignment bar installed in place and now we're ready to remove the bar so we can install the scope. Before we remove that bar I want to give you a view just from the back and show how it's centered on the barrel and then we will remove the bar and get ready for the final step which is mounting the scope. I've loosened the screws on the rear ring and now I'm going to loosen the screws on the front ring and we'll slide the scope true alignment bar out of the rings and we'll move it out of the way. Alright, what I'm doing here now is I'm just doing the final removal of the ring halves and I'll set them aside. We want to set them down just like they go on. Don't mix them up. Taking the back and the front off and set them aside just as they go back on. Before we mount the scope I want to take a moment to point out that by using the scope true alignment bar which is a one piece bar the barrel here aligns both rings perfectly so they're in near perfect parallel with each other and both of those rings 
are in a near perfect parallel with the barrel, as we saw by the pointer pointing down to the center of the barrel. So this takes any stress out of the scope tube and it eliminates long range windage errors beyond the zero point when you're shooting. The scope has now been mounted in the rings. We've positioned it for the correct eye relief, we've leveled the crosshairs, and we've tightened down the front and rear ring halves to the specified torque of 28 inch pounds because these are Leopold rings and now the rifle is ready to go out on the range and shoot.